positive train control uh, is a federally mandated safety requirement. It's an overlay to the existing safety systems to automatically enforce civil speed restrictions, temporary speed restrictions, and positive stop. It's probably the single largest technological advance in the rail industry. When a train goes to, to make a move across the main line that's PTC equipped, he's going to have a set of train order bulletins inputted into the CAD system, which is transmitted to the train to their onboard computer. And that's what sets everything up is the overlay that in case there was a human error or a malfunction or something happened, that positive train control would keep that train from violating one of those ordinances. Terminal Railroad hosts 10 Amtrak trains a day. Because they, they hauled passengers, they had to implement positive train control. The project we have is a SEPTA PTC project. There's three major components. There's a wayside component that's going to go next to the train and on the right of way. There's a carborn component that goes on the train, and then there's a back office component. All three of those working together adds a level of granularity on where the train is. Once you understand where it is, technology can make decisions to ensure proper train separation. The interoperability piece between all the different railroads, that's the real complicated piece because everybody's got their own system, but they all have to be able to work together. Moving this many trains of this many different railroads is incredible. There really were a lot of challenges to St. Louis. The challenges in the Northeast, of course, are train frequency. You're running trains every 10, 15 minutes. Here, the frequency isn't there, but the challenges of trying to retrofit the existing system Terminal Railroad system, when we first started here, had some 1950s technology that we had to interface to. And we did some pretty innovative things to get around that. We hooked up some of our locations wirelessly to get around running cable, because running cable would have been extremely expensive. You know, we embraced the uh, safety aspects and the technological compliance and the improvement of our infrastructure. Our work zones for our employees and contractors will be safer. The signal system will be enforced. You know, I think it benefits uh, the train crews, you know, it could prevent a mistake. The benefit is that they know that they have a system behind them. In the event that they do make a mistake, it is going to correct it for them. Safety for the rail passengers, safety for the train crew, and safety for the, uh, the maintenance of way workers. I, I honestly feel that the work we're doing has the potential of saving lives.